Everybody, it's Craig back to here, and if you haven't heard already, Black Magic Design announced yesterday that Black Magic Raw has been added to the Black Magic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K as of yesterday. You can download that from their website. Now, here's my little bit of a dilemma. So, I've been using the GH5 for about two years now, and I'm thinking of upgrading. So, either to the new Sony A7S3, whenever that comes out, or maybe the GH5S. Now the GH5S shares the same sensor with the Blackmagic 4K Pocket Cinema camera. So that's kind of interesting, but what really has me thinking is the 12-bit Blackmagic RAW codec, which you can use in DaVinci Resolve. So right now, I don't think you can use that codec in Final Cut or Adobe Premiere. So that's another thing. So I think it's pretty cool that you can use Blackmagic RAW, but then you have to learn new software. So let me know in the comment section below if adding Blackmagic RAW to the cinema camera is making you want to get that camera more. Now the only problem is you can't get it anywhere right now. It's sold out everywhere in the US and Canada. You can get it for about $12.95, I think at B&H Photo, but you have to pre-order that and I don't know when it'll be in stock. In Canada, I believe it's something like $17.50, so it's reasonably priced. If you think it shares the same sensor with the GH5S, which is quite a bit more, so and it has RAW, so it makes me kind of think that would be an interesting purchase. Now again, I mentioned the Sony A7S III. Now there's talk that that will be announced in April or May, but when would that be available? It could take another six months before you see that on the shelves as well. So right now, uh, what do you think I should do? <laughs> what would you do? Would you get the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera because they've added Blackmagic RAW? Would you get the GH5S? Or would you wait and see about the Sony A7S III? Because I'm sure that's going to be a killer camera. Anyway, let me know in the comments section below what you think about uh, DaVinci Resolve as well. Now, I want to put a link to, to a Steve Vai video. So there's a recent video from Steve Vai. I don't know if you're a guitar fan, but they shot this with Blackmagic cameras and they also did all of the editing for the video in DaVinci Resolve which makes me think it's a pretty capable editor it's just a matter of learning the new software. So Blackmagic Design has some free training videos if you're thinking of going that route I'll put a link to those videos below this video as well. Anyway thanks for watching this video I'd like to hear your thoughts do you go with the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera do you go with the GH5S or do you wait for the Sony A7S III if you're thinking of upgrading from say a GH5. Anyway, let me know in the comment section below. All right, thanks for watching this video. Give me a thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next one.